fish on. Well, good morning this morning. Well, we're trying to camera angle from a different perspective today. Trying this out and see how it works. See if it's gonna be in the way of me uh, with my rod over on this side. So we'll see what happens. Gonna be chasing some perch again today. Hopefully I can get one. I still haven't got one yet this year. Been trying the water. It was cold this morning. 25 degrees. I waited a little while to get out of here. It's about eh, 36, 37 right now. It's not too bad. It's supposed to warm up to almost 60 today. So this water is going to start warming up. And hopefully the fish will start warming up too. So stay tuned. Fish on. Look at that, folks. Casted that little crappie roadrunner right up by the reeds over there. Got this beautiful walleye. He's probably, oh. He's probably close to 15. Let's see what he is. Fifteen and three quarter inch walleye. We're gonna get him back. It's not walleye season yet. There he goes. Wow. He was up shallow, real shallow, probably. In Oh, five feet of water, I'm guessing. I'm sitting in seven and a half right here, so. Pitching up to them reeds, hoping to get a, a perch, but. Still can't get a perch. I don't know where they're at. They're usually mixed in there. I'm using my Roadrunner, trusty Roadrunner. At 16th ounce with the electric chicken pink and chartreuse with a white head love this for crappie but that walleye seemed to like it there Fish on. I think we got another walleye. Yep. Another beauty. That one's probably maybe 16 inches or so. Man, pretty fish. Look, we gotta get him back though. Could use him on opener. It's another probably 16 inches. Man, this water is so clear this year. Wow. It's like you can see 12 feet deep. Last year. 
right around this time you can see probably six foot or so so it's twice as clear as it was last year so I don't know what come walleye open or I don't know what's gonna happen these fish still seem to be shallow last time uh, they were in the, a five to seven foot range for couple weeks there in the early you know early spring I guess they're gonna be up there shallow again they might be back off a little deeper now it's so clear but I don't know where the perch are at I'm trying but we'll see what we can get the old road runner comes through again I might have to start using this on the opener not mess with the minnows. I had, like I said, the water is so clear here now. I just, I, I, I actually saw three walleyes just swim right by. I could see the white tips on their tail. The water so clear. I could see the weeds down here pretty amazing fish on little walleye boy you can see them in that clear water Smaller one there. Still pretty though. Look at that. Beautiful fish. We're gonna get him back. Well, I might know where I'm gonna be fishing on the walleye opener <laughs> right here. <laughs> I was fishing the other day I caught a one and the other day I caught two and they were out deeper and about I was sitting in about 12 foot of water casting in shallow but that's a key this time of year springtime early these fish want to be shallow they're gonna be shallow and as clear as this water is you gotta be getting your lure away from the boat that's why I'm always casting in the early in the spring. Pitch that thing out away from the boat. You know, later in the summertime when when uh, they move out a little deeper, you can sit up right on top of them vertical. When it's this clear, and especially in the, in the early spring, they, they're going to be shallow. So you want to be casting or pitching your jigs out away from the boat. I can't stress that enough. I see guys just, you know, trolling straight underneath the boat this time of year and like, sure, they're gonna get some fish, but if you cast it out away from the boat, you're gonna have better, better success, so. We'll, we'll see if we can get another fish. Fish on. That's probably a pike or a wall. I wanted it to. It's a little walleye. We're gonna see if we can swing this one in there. Oh. Well, I'm 
another beautiful eyeball. Look at that. Beauty. We're gonna get him back. Well, <laughs> I can't catch a perch for nothing. Usually they're mixed right in there. But not this year, not yet anyway. Another tip for for panfish early season. Crappie for crappie. I use this nanofill line, six pound nanofill. You can cast this thing a mile. This is the greatest thing for uh, crappie and pan fishermen. You can really cast that thing way better than you can monofilament. You old, use the old four to six pound monofilament and you get the bird's nest, trying to fling it out there as far as you can. With this, I mean, it just shoots off. So, anytime early spring, I'm casting for crappie or perch or whatever, I'm using the nanofill because I can cast these real light jigs super far. In this case, the water's so clear, I want to get it away from the boat and cast it out there a mile. So, if you've never tried it, it does cast way further than any other line out there. And I love it as far as panfish. Casting light jigs. You can pitch that thing out there a mile. There you go, fish on. Fish on. It's a fight, but... Yep. Just cruising her down this bank here, and I saw a little patch of weeds here. It's casting in. He hit it right away. looking little bike gonna get him back whoa <laughs> that felt like a big one with that little crappie rod well folks I think we're gonna head on in still can't get a perch I don't know uh, 
spent the last little bit just cruising around uh, at seven foot range and just looking. I seen walleye, I seen pike, never seen a perch. So I don't know if they're backed off and deeper now. I, you'd think they'd be up there with the rest of them, but we'll give it a try tomorrow. Until next time, tight lines, and we'll catch you later.